Despite the challenges of the pandemic, in Canada, we've been able to provide refuge to thousands of asylum claimants. We're now building on the success by increasing the number of protected persons we will welcome this year from 23,500 to 45,000. These are individuals who are in Canada, have been adjudicated by the Immigration Refugee and Tribunal Board to have refugee status, and who now will get protected person status. And I'm also pleased to report that of that new enhanced goal, we have already extended protected person status to 17,900. Good progress indeed. With regards to uh, our announcement today, where we are significantly increasing uh, our goals to extend uh, protection to uh, to those whose claims have been uh, adjudicated and who now have refugee status and who need that certainty to be able to remain in Canada. Um, our work uh, has been um, truly progressive and significant. Uh, we have redoubled our efforts. Uh, the update that I provided in the context uh, of today's announcement is that we've already extended uh, protection to 17,900 approximately uh, protected persons. Uh, and so that is, again, roughly 80%, 80% of our year uh, to, date, uh, to, to date goal before we increased it. And now uh, with that progress, we're, we're almost at the halfway point of the much higher goal that we have set. Uh, and with regards to your question about uh, families, yes, you're quite right. Protected persons are able to uh, to uh, apply for status for their immediate family members. This is something that we offer economic immigrants, and certainly uh, we we hope to be able to uh, to uh, facilitate their travel. Obviously, uh, taking into consideration uh, the ongoing uh, travel restrictions. Uh, but as I say, uh, the the progress that we have made is a real reflection of Canada's ongoing leadership to resettle refugees and to, and to offer protection to the world's most vulnerable.